What's going on YouTube? It's your boy JR here. We are back with another video and not a video I'm particularly happy about shooting to be honest with you. I don't think that it's been, uh, what's today? You know what? I don't know. It hasn't been a week. I'll just say that. Uh, since we've had these phones and um, yeah, we already got cracks going on. One thing that I have to say when you're considering protection for your iPhone, because iPhones are a luxury, you know, they are luxurious, they're beautiful. It's like if you have an iPhone, it's a standard, it's a statement. It says something about who you are and the type of lifestyle that you like to live, right? Let's be honest, people with iPhones, we can kind of be a little bit, tend to be a little on the bougie side. And that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. We all want a great lifestyle. We wanna have fun and live our lives if you only got one. But let's be honest, if you're gonna have it, you gotta take the good and the bad that comes along with that. Now you have some people who like to rock their phones without cases. Then you have some people who like to rock their phones with cases because, you know, they don't wanna take any chances. But every now and then, whether you have a case on your phone or not, that circumstantial event just happens where something happens and your phone slips or it falls and it hits at the right angle and you crack a screen protector or you crack a screen or you dent the bezel or something happens. You know, you, just, you don't know how, it just happens. But anyway, man, so you see the title in the thumbnail. Play the clip. Oh, damn. Mm. I had to, I couldn't play the audio for you because I said some things and I honestly don't wanna, I don't wanna put that out there, you know? But I'm gonna show you, cause I have it right here exactly what we're dealing with. Well, actually you saw in the video, went to the Apple store, purchased the iPhone 16 Pro for my wife. Beautiful, beautiful phone. And it still is a beautiful phone. I have it right here in my hand. Y'all see that? You can barely, let me put my face out the way so y'all can actually see. You see that? That's a beautiful phone right there. Nice clear MagSafe, Apple MagSafe case on it. So we got protection going on. And then as you saw in the clip, stuff happens so now we're dealing with this yeah take a look at it and if i can get the right angle you can see where it's spreading where it's spread we got cracks going over here we got cracks going over here i believe definitely we don't even want to talk about that but based on what you see in my assessment it's just a screen protector, just a screen protector. And if we look down here at the bottom corner, you can kind of see where the case itself is scratched up a bit too. Now, this goes me to, this leads me to my next thing. I'll be honest, Apple clear cases, they look nice. They show off the color of the phone and they look elegant. Big ups, Apple, big ups. Very nice case, very beautiful case. Camera capture button. Works great, you know, works great with it. But it's not the best for protection. So we already know this. Now, if she hadn't had a case on it, it wouldn't have, uh, it, 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 it would have been way worse. It would have been way worse. The titanium probably would have scratched, possibly dented up. Uh, the screen probably would have cracked if we didn't have a screen protector on it. Uh, but in my opinion, I feel like this could have been avoided if we had had, let's say, a silicone case. For instance, my case right here, ultramarine, completely covered around each corner around each part of the phone. Now, if it had fallen on something like this, something that could take, could have taken the impact a little bit better, 
probably would have just absorbed all of that. Screen protector may have cracked, but chances of that, the way that it fell, and based on how this looks, I don't think that would have happened. I think that if the clear MagSafe case would have had all of this here, at least just at least just covered it. Basically, how the silicone case is completely covered on the bottom row here, on the bottom. If it had been covered just like that, I think we would have even been safer that way. Apple, we gotta fix that. I get it. You want you're going for a certain look, but it's not like I mean you don't have the top of the phone like that. Look at this, that's completely covered. Why not have the bottom the same way that you have uh, the silicone case? You know, just have it all covered and have the grill cutouts and the USB-C cutouts. That way, at least you have the most protection. I don't see the purpose in, complete, in having this bottom part here completely open. Like, what does that, why? I'm, okay, I'm, I'm just being real with y'all. It's a great looking case but it's not really good for protection. So I know some of y'all gonna still go out here and get this case. That's perfectly fine. Take your shots. I really hope and pray that this works out for you because it looks great, it does. Hell, before it even happened, I was thinking about getting one. I was like, hmm, you know what? A clear MagSafe case will look great on this black titanium, man. I know somebody out there got it right now. Somebody's got it, look at this. This beautiful black titanium. Could you imagine a clear case on that with the white with the white MagSafe ring around it? That would be beautiful. But you know what's even more beautiful? You know what's even, come here. You know what's even more beautiful? The fact that there are no dents, no scratches, and the resale value on this thing is gonna stay because I'm gonna protect it. Okay, you can back up. In the next couple days, you will see a video that will be uh, showcasing some great cases. And you will see plenty more videos with some great cases that have great features, great drop protection, and look really, really good, okay? Matter of fact, I'll, I'll link a card right up here so you can see one that I just did a couple days ago from a company called Artsevo. Very great cases, great drop protection, stylish, very protective cases. Links in the description, go check them out. But anyway, so I'm not mad, you know, because I saw the way it happened. Hell, I got it in 4K. It just happened. You know, things like this happen. Thankfully, it was just the protections part of it. Thankfully, it was just the screen protector and it was just the case, okay? Now, speaking, this is my last point right here. So when you go to Apple, they ask you, do you want a screen protector. Yes, I want a screen protector. What screen protector do they use? Belkin. Belkin screen protectors. Now, I'm not saying that Belkin is not a great company. I'm not saying that they don't make good screen protectors because it's a screen protector. Any company that makes a screen protector, the screen protector is gonna crack if you hit it a certain way. If the phone falls a certain way, it's gonna crack. And that's perfectly fine. That's what it's there for, to absorb the impact of the hit so that your screen, your ceramic shield, does not get damaged because it's way more expensive to replace that than it is a Belkin uh, screen protector. But I will say this, as of today on Belkin's website, the iPhone 16 series is not available to choose for a warranty replacement. What are we doing? Come, come here. What are we doing? Why would you sell a product that you don't even have available to choose as an option of what you have on the site. Y'all get what I'm saying? Okay, back up. Yeah, I go on the website to get a replacement. It's not there. I choose 15 Pro. I try to go up there and change it to 16 Pro. It won't take it. They give you a couple different drop down menus for you to choose your device. It won't take it. I've registered. I've registered both screen protectors. Matter of fact, I've registered all three because my daughter, she has a 14 and I got her screen her uh, screen protector replaced as well. Lifetime warranties on these things, especially if you get them from Apple, which is perfectly fine. But I don't think I like this from Belkin. Now, I've had other screen protectors from a company called Zag. And I know for a fact 
I have cracked screen protectors. They have cracked plenty of screen protectors. I've gotten replacements very easily. The only thing I had to pay for was shipping. That's it, that may be like 10 bucks or something. And it was here in a day or two, real quick. Website was very easy to go on and uh, get a replacement and everything was perfectly fine. But Belkin, y'all gotta get it together, man. Y'all can't be out here selling screen protectors and saying you got a warranty replacement, a lifetime, a limited lifetime warranty replacement. What is a limited lifetime warranty replacement? You got a lifetime warranty on these screen protectors. But the, the series of the latest one that you're selling is not available to choose. Don't sell the product if you don't have the replacement or if you can't choose the option for the replacement. That's all I'm saying. But anyway, I just wanted to just get that out of my system. I, in my opinion, don't mess with the clear MagSafe case unless you're ready to deal with the high possibility, high probability that you'll more likely still crack your screen, dent your phone. It's not the most protective case. We already know that. And then if you happen to get a Belkin screen protector from the Apple store, just know even if you register your product, at least I know going on the website and trying to get the warranty replacement is not, they ain't ready yet. Maybe I'll have to call and chat, speak with somebody, I don't know, but that part needs to be fixed. So Belkin, if you happen to be watching this video, get it together. Anyway, man, if y'all like the video, please hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment below, let me know what you think. If you cannot tell, I am slightly frustrated over this because we haven't had the phones a week yet and we already got cracks and dents going on. Well, thankfully no dents, but definitely screen protectors. At least the phone screen itself, the phone itself is not damaged, but it's just something about a screen protector being cracked on a phone. It's like, ah, uh, hit the thumbs up button if you feel the same way. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Drop a comment below. Subscribe, man. I see a lot of y'all watching the videos, but y'all not subscribed. That's okay. You can keep watching the videos, but just turn on your bell notifications so you know, you know what I'm posting. And I got y'all. Anyway, man, it's your boy JR. I will holler at y'all the next one. Till next time, please be safe out here, yourself and your phone. Protect yourselves and your phones. All right, I'm gone. Bye.